Good morning, this is Tom, negotiating with Jesus. I'm gonna use a different angle today so you can see my guitar and I can try and show off. I can flex, <sighs> I can flex. Uh, I'm not a flexor, although I get that, but I really am an average character. So my flexes, I want, I want to flex you. <laughs> I want you to take, and I, I'm talking to this, uh, Okay, this little corner, but to me, this little corner is this hierarchy. And the bulk of people are at the bottom. I'm with you. I'm not a rising star. Uh, I'm just some guy. And my life is a series of highs and lows and disasters. And I'm in the recovery of a disaster right now. So, uh... Uh, what was I going to talk about? I just saw, I just saw a video uh, with the guy Wild at Heart, guy, and he was talking about Christianity and what people are missing, and it's this intimate relationship with God. So Peterson is our kind of our uh, kind of our son <laughs> of this little corner, and then there's the Paul Vanderclay aspect of. No, when you say the sun, the thing we're revolving around, he starts saying, Peterson is revolving around something. He's not who we revolve around. He's just a guy, but he's interesting. And he's, he's pointing to God. So God is who we revolve around. And Peterson revolving is just saying things that are interesting and we're all riffing off of it. And I watched a guitar guitar video today and it was talking about riffs guitar riffs and you maybe think of deep purple dun, dun, dun. maybe you think of that uh smoke on the water riff and then he talked about licks so this is a new teacher that i'm going to probably follow up on a little bit because i'm an average player and i want to step it up a bit so that i can play my songs with some amount of skill and maybe in this aging part of my life, try and tilt toward uh, testimony. So embodying a story and music, the art that uh, you know people think might save the world. And there was a quote I just saw. It might have been Dostoevsky or Tolstoy that art will save the world. And it's what kind of Peugeot is is getting at. And Peugeot is a is a skilled artisan creating these icons. I am not. I am going to be a guy at the bottom of the pyramid, but I super want to encourage you to go ahead and make some music, learn some art, and it's important enough to do poorly. Uh, art is important enough to do poorly, so I'll, I'll be playing songs and it's not going to compare to people who have a uh, hundred thousand dollar budgets who have some gifts that are a little beyond me and who also have pursued hard uh, developing those gifts and then have other gifted people around them supporting their music and maybe some <laughs> some uh, Nashville uh, studio artists who just can just slam down music like nobody's business. So uh, I think I'm going to go for this wild at heart thing, though. So when uh, this guy, and I just watched the video, and I don't remember his name. I watched about 10 minutes of it. And then to me, he was another league. So there are these players that are higher on the hierarchy than I am. So I'm a follower of Jesus. I'm a preacher, which is crazy because uh, it was a found thing or a called thing that it wasn't. It wasn't some thing that I was driving towards. It happened to me. <laughs> Things happened to me, and I'm not some great master of my destiny. Uh, I destroy my destiny. <laughs> I am a great. Uh, you know, I shoot myself in the foot. I'm really good at target practice, and I'm the target. <laughs> so, 
so then he mentioned this psychiatrist or psychologist who's really seeking God. And he said, I don't think he knows God intimately. I don't think he knows Jesus. And I'm thinking, you're talking about Peterson. And in some ways he doesn't. And, and this guy's speaking in this, just this rich, caring feeling. He just feels this intimacy. And he's like, I don't think he's intimate with God or Jesus. And it's like, yeah, I get what you're saying. Because Peterson in some way is trying to intellectually build a tower Tower of Babel or something. He's trying to intellectually build a place where he can stick his head into the clouds and see God and then describe back to us what he sees. Hey, he does have a beard and he is in the sky. <laughs> you know, the bearded man in the in the sky, which is, you know, it's ridiculous. Uh, Peterson talks about the spirit of God. He's trying to manifest on earth a religion that's not a religion, and he's doing a verbaikiism, and he's trying to embody it, and so is Verveki, but Verveki has a whole system he's laying down. Peterson sounds like he just can riff off of it. Riff, again, this idea of a, a groove that you can get in in your guitar playing. He can get in these grooves, and it's, it's that... Uh, that state that you get into when you're performing at a high level, the uh, something state. So Peterson can achieve that and perform at a high level. So this guy's talking about intimacy with God. And uh, he's, he's making a claim that all these all kinds of people are trying to find God, but they're not becoming intimate with him. And he's saying that's the that's the number one goal of life. And I would agree with that. But I don't want to be on his level of sitting on kind of a, a mountaintop. He's a guru of some sort. And he's talking about things that I agree with. But I want to do, I want to dumb it down or even... Uh, take away some of the, so a man, I don't get as caught up in the emotional aspects of the world. I'm a little dense, but I can cry like a baby. The second I feel uh, the pain or heartbreak that I'm trying to speak of, I can get weepy. <laughs> I get weepy. And, and I feel like I've succeeded in some way if I get myself into a kind of a weepy thing where I'm, where my heart starts to break. And in some way, men don't have that intimacy with their own hearts, our little hard hearts. Uh, we want to uh, be stoic. We want to get out there and, you know, not get emotional when we're charging an enemy. No fear. No sense that we're going to sacrifice our lives Uh maybe die and not be able to protect our family. And then these marauders may came, come in and kill. We can't get sensitive or emotional. We have to destroy an enemy. So that's this earthly view. So not intimate with, with God. And I want to tell people uh, that I think we, our stories are something we don't understand. This is where I'm going to keep going. Our stories... And the idea, one of the videos back, and it might have been Paul, and it might have been Peugeot or somebody, was talking about <clears throat> prayer. So the Bible says, you know, the Apostle Paul says something like, pray without ceasing. Jesus prays pretty regularly, and he teaches his disciples to a, a prayer that they can repeat that covers all the territory. It's a very short prayer. Uh, the Lord's Prayer. <clears throat> so the story that we live, are we intimate with God? I think we are. Do we pray without ceasing? I think we do, because I don't think we understand our story. So I keep using the example, someone's in a horror movie. If you are living that story, you're in your own little movie, your own story, 
and you're very worried about someone pursuing you and you're fumbling with your keys and you're you're saying, come on, come on, you're praying. And it's that even like groans in your spirit are considered prayer in in the Bible. This, ah, ah, you're worried. You're trying to get the key. If somebody's pursuing you. You're trying to get the key into the keyhole. Come on, come on. What are these calls? Please help me. Please, please. And you're saying please to the keys? No. To yourself? No. You need a greater power. You're calling on a greater power. Please help me now. Please calm me. Please help me to calmly guide the key into the keyhole. And then the car, you're in the car. And let's just say you're not in a horror movie, you're just going to work. And you, you're starting your car and it's and you're like, come on, come on, start, please start, come on. And you start, it's some prayer ritual. Please, please, please start, please. We do this all the time. And the why me, Lord? Why me, Lord? is a prayer and it's i'm i'm hurting too much i can't take anymore who are you talking to yourself you're telling you already know intimately your pain you're saying it to the world why to to tell a tree no you're calling out to god you're seeking this higher power which all of us do all the time every time we snap out of our little trance we notice the miracles all around us. I'm living and breathing. And we notice the brokenness all around us. And now uh, I'm really thirsty and I have a four mile hike back to my my vehicle. And I'm in the you know the Grand Canyon or something. And we we notice our limits, but we notice this glory this miracle that seems unbounded until it seems bounded. And it gets back to the uh, uh, Pascal. My One of my main themes is going to be Pascal, that he said something like, we're trapped between infinities. We look up and long to connect with the infinite above we look down, we look up for God, we look down for our own understanding. Scientifically, how can this be? When we're looking down, we're trying to not find God. We're trying to find our own reason that we can understand what the heck's going on. And we have looked down far, but Pascal is like, you haven't done nothing yet, because what are quarks made of? Oh, they have, they're, they're made of nothing. It gets, it's the visible universe above and the visible universe below. They both fade into infinity. And we haven't scratched the surface either way. But we want to claim that we are like God. And that's the garden agreement with the serpent. We eat the fruit and we say, oh, he said I could be, I would be like God if I eat this fruit. I can decide. I'll be the one who says what the world is. And it's the source of all bickering, whether it's how you roll the toilet paper, to who you should vote for, to whether you should mask, whether you should uh, take out the trash like your wife wants you to, or whether she should make, uh, you know, stop burning the, the toast like you want her to. And everyone is the critic of everyone else because I am the ruler of my world. I get to decide. Satan told me. The serpent told me I could decide. Yeah, so that's where we're stuck. 15 minutes. I'm going to bail out. I just want to do a video every day so that this can be a, a habit. And I'll try and raise the bar because I'm, I want your expectations to be very low. And thank you for keeping them low. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, watch for more than two seconds. I've seen, I've seen you YouTube viewers, you are flying past this and that's fine. I, 
I'll talk to you later. Tom out.